Hold it right there! Welcome, welcome. You tricked us! I did. And boy, am I grateful for your help. It was very much appreciated. And once again, your face doesn't show it. I don't think it's even capable of showing emotion. 
What do you plan on doing with this delusion? Ending it, of course. No way in hell. Are you sure that's the best stance to take? If it isn't destroyed, delusions will keep on spreading and spreading. What are you saying? Is it really that hard to understand? Have you not questioned it? Have you not doubted? Thought about why the delusions are encroaching upon this town? Because it's Akiba. There are tons of deluded people around here. Hmm. Well, that certainly is true. And there's the pink-caped man. He's pulling the strings behind the scenes, expanding the reach of these delusions. Absolutely, positively wrong. It, it is? Tell me, when was it that Cannon first appeared? It was only after the delusions had already begun to spread, remember? You mean... No questions yet. I want an answer first. When was it? Your silence speaks louder than words. If Cannon hasn't been around since the beginning, then this isn't Cannon's work. What? Well, not to the extent you think it is, at least. There's another. Someone else who's given birth to these delusions. Our true culprit has birthed a reality awash with delusion. An unreal reality, if you will. You guys... Speak of the devil. Y you Allow me to reacquaint you. This is the culprit responsible for filling Akiba with delusions. This castle's princess, Saki Hoshino. What? N no way! She couldn't be! That's not possible! You have to be lying! Pipe down, will you? We're just getting to the good part, so shut up and listen. Yeah. What are you trying to pull here? There once was a princess who grew weary of normal, everyday life. She tired of the tedium of reality, so she used her delusion to alter it. Yo, Saki, why is this so much fun for you? Huh? It's just, I don't think most people would take the whole delusions encroaching upon reality thing so well. I guess I like it when my life isn't predictable. And you have to admit, nullifying delusions is pretty fun. Who'd want to go to school day in and day out anyway? Be the same as everyone else? It's boring. Wearing the same uniform as everyone else, doing the same things after school? I hated it. Then one day, I found a mysterious door. At first, I had no idea what I was looking at. But I went through anyway. And I met someone strange on the other side. Someone who taught me what I know now. About the delusionscape, the delusions that inhabit it, and the necessity of nullifying it all. Regular people didn't understand. How could they? They couldn't even see it. Only a select few can nullify delusions. In my mind, it sounded like someone was saying, we finally found you. On that day, my life was changed forever. So from then on, I've been living as a chosen one. Wow! This is the first I've heard of any of that! It happened a short time before I met you, Pinkun. A chosen one, huh? No. To be honest, Princess, I had no idea you progressed so far. I'm impressed. You're... Indeed. Your assistance has been most beneficial to my work. I thank you for helping everything fall into place. Stop jerking us around. Why should we believe that Saki is the source of all this? Why should we believe you? Are you trying to tell me all the delusions in Akiba are hers? No, no, nothing quite that extreme. You're well versed in the causes of the recent delusions around here. The princess's delusion is the day itself. The aforementioned unreal reality we're living in right now. An unreality made possible by a delusion that causes other delusions to multiply at an accelerated rate. <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. Well, bully for you, Reiji. How about you tell the rest of us why? You said it yourself. Akiba is a place full of people with a heightened propensity for delusion. Delusers, basically. And into a place full of delusers popped a girl who could accelerate the natural flow.